guys from Sapa look at this beautiful view it's really wonderful we got here yesterday with the bus if you didn't see my last video then make sure to watch it because I showed you the whole trip from Hanoi to Sapa and how to get here and the various possibilities slept in the hotel we didn't do anything because we couldn't sleep in the bus so we just stayed here to relax but today we're moving going to a homestay got changed you can see and we're going to trek maybe eight or nine ten kilometers maybe the saddest part of Sapa is that you will see everywhere these children trying to sell you things I think that the parents are also working I don't think they go to school it's just they're just on the street selling things I'll show you now they're everywhere We were supposed to go to the homestay to leave our luggage and then start the trekking, but the ladies over there, the one on the right with the purple umbrella, I have no idea what we're waiting for. Maybe other people? It's not what I expected, it's, it's actually nicer than You see, it's a normal road at the end of the day. It's raining, but... I'm still having fun, it's beautiful. So today we're going to trek for five hours and tomorrow for three. But let's see a little bit how it goes today because if it's raining a lot and it ruins the experience at the end, we might not do it tomorrow. But as of now, I'll recommend it, it's nice. As you can see, I'm fully covered. It's needed when it <laughs> rains. <laughs> so what is the name of the villages we're going to see today? My village? No, the villages we see today. Of the village? Chidi Eri? Yeah, or yeah other today. Village? Yeah, other village. Other village. We go to Sang San. Sang San. Sang San. And there we have lunch. Hande? Yeah. Hande. Okay. We go to my village, Hauta. Hauta. Hauta? Yeah. Okay, Hauta. Today we go to four village. Okay. Yeah. I need to remember these names, it's very difficult for me to, yeah. <laughs> to remember it. <laughs> We've been walking for one and a half hour more or less and we didn't get to the to the first village yet. So let's see. Let's see how long it will take for for getting to the first village. It's so beautiful to walk in the nature. As I told you before, you're you're fully immersed with modern nature. That's so beautiful. I would say that's the most beautiful thing we've seen in Southeast Asia so far. No offense to our friend the Philippines, but that's stunning, that's gorgeous. around the forest just like that for hours and hours so beautiful and it's much better to take a guide for the tour although you can do it yourself but it's much better to do a guide because it will take you to places where no tourists go so so far out of three hours we've seen only a group of tourists and there were only three so if you really want to be in contact with the nature with no people that's the that's really the thing to do Summer, no, there's nowhere to go
right guys so let me explain to you a little bit how the day went so I thought that during the trekking you were going to stop in small villages so that's what I thought but we did the trekking the whole day I only stopped for lunch then we stopped for dinner here at the homestay that I'm going to show you in a second so keep watching if you want to see more of it the dinner was awesome with spring rolls vegetables, pork. Tomorrow we are waking up early and continue the trekking to another village. This time is confirmed. We are going to another village. So we're in this very basic homestay, but it's very nice. It's very basic, so you cannot expect something big or something very modern. It's a small village with locals, yeah? It's very basic, you cannot expect anything modern. There's no Wi-Fi. Uh, the toilet and the bathroom is very basic that I'm going to show you in a second. For the homestay, the lunch today and tomorrow, the breakfast tomorrow morning and the dinner tonight, so four meals, the night in the homestay and the trekking today and tomorrow, we are spending $30 per person, which is, I think is a great deal. So, right now I'm going to show you the homestay. You have the shared bathroom and the shared toilets. I'm going to warn you, it's very basic. So, this is the shower. That's the toilet. Very basic, I know, but you're staying with locals in a minority village, so you cannot expect a five star hotel. Then, that's the entrance to the rooms, but before we get there, I'm going to show you the second bathroom and the second toilet, which is a bit cleaner. All right, so, toilet and the shower there, here. And the other one, which is more or less the same. Now I'm going to show you the rooms inside the homestay. They have a Facebook page, so I'm going to put the link in the description below. So if you want to book it, you can, you can contact them directly. Oh, we are going upstairs. Before we continue, I wanted to tell you that we are the only ones in the hotel hotel homestay we were in a group of five people and the other four people decided to go back to Sapa for the night this is the typical room not big but that's enough for one night and all of them are pretty much the same All the rooms are more or less the same, same size, same decoration. Twin room this time. Maybe a bit bigger because the beds are twin, but... Yeah. Before we say goodbye, I wanted to tell you that you could not pre-book this homestay on websites like booking.com or hotels.com, etc. You either go on their Facebook page, that again, I'm going to put the link down below, or if you take the bus or the train to Sapa, the ladies are going to wait for you at the bus stop to offer you trekkings into the mountain. So I really recommend you to go for that option because at the end of the day, it's going to, get, to cost you less than booking a tour with an agency. It's going to be much more personalized with local families. And you know, you're not gonna go into the small villages where all the tourists go. You're going to go into villages where almost no tourists are and you're going to experiment the real Vietnamese countryside life. Alright, make sure to subscribe to watch the next video and see you next time. Cheers guys!